With ECO, it is very easy to change to a different persistence mechanism, and the ECO framework will seamlessly handle the transition for you. We will now change our application to persistence data to a Blackfish SQL database. Okay, first thing we need to do is add a data store connection to our ECO space. We will then configure the connection string. Rather than using a process database, we will use the remote database just so we don't have any database file locking issues. And we will just store it in my common database location and simply call it eco master detail. Because this database hasn't been created before, we will switch over to the properties and just toggle the create flag there. Now when we test the connection, the database should be automatically created. We now need to add a persistence mapper for Blackfish, which tells Eco how to persist our objects and map them to the relevant SQL statements required by the Blackfish SQL database engine. Okay, we need to set the database connection to the connection we just created. And we then tell the eco space that we are going to be using the Blackfish persistence mapper. Next, we need to generate the database schema, which we do via the generate schema button down the bottom. And this will give us a list of tables that are going to be created. If we now switch to the database explorer, we can create a connection to our database and see the tables that ECO has created. You will now see that we have the tables here that ECHO created. Now we can run our application again. And instead of using the XML file for persistence, it will now be using the Blackfish SQL database. As a result, we no longer have any data to show, so we will just create that again. And some employees. we will just save those changes. Now if we have a look at Database Explorer and open up the company table, you'll see that the companies that we entered are there, as are the employees. And if we run our application, we will see that the data has been loaded. Well, I hope this video has demonstrated how easy and how much fun it is to create data-driven applications using ECO and the VCL.NET framework.